Bread Party people, are we live? Are we live? What's going on, party people? It's your boy G Lock. We gonna do this again, right? Because I try to do a video breakdown, thinking that um, you know, a good friends at Twitch had my back, but they did, and I couldn't. The people couldn't see the video. But there's more than one way to skin a blood clot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just woke up. Uh, don't want to be offensive to anybody. If you're offended, uh, grow some Paulinis. Because um, it's going to be offensive. Being funny is very offensive. And if you really know g Lock, we don't give a fuck. And um, it's all jokes. We from Brooklyn. Shout out to my man, G-Man, right? Childhood friend. Um, he calls me yesterday and he's like, yo, dude, I got footage of you. And you was like 15 years old. Rapping your ass off. You, nerves, has, everybody, Reg, everybody we grew up with. We used to go around New York City battling everybody. Everybody, everybody who's in the game, who you think is an OG from New York, we was pulling up on them when pulling up wasn't even a, wasn't even a thing. And then we had major backing. We had NBA players who used to come and give us money to do it, to do so. Pull up in Harlem, pull up in the Bronx. I remember we pulled up on boot camp like, 12 cars deep, them niggas ain't come outside. They was like, get the fuck out of here. We don't know what y'all got going on. Now, in hindsight, it probably was uh, super smart. And you know, when you tell these stories, it's 25 years later, everybody be like, ah, they was capping. We got the footage. (laughs) We have the footage. I'm like, yo, 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 G. Yo, Lyrical Fiend, that's what was his name. I was like, you the cootie of this shit. (laughs) You got the footage. But back to our video breakdown, you know what I'm saying? If For those who couldn't see the video, it's Zico Nico that that bag. Super hot video. You probably saw it already. You got 1.1 million views. That's me, you, and everybody I know. And, um, And some new friends. But while I drink the morning coffee, I'm getting caught right now. I stole this cup from upstairs. It's all family, though. You know what I mean? We got your cup. <laughs> Everything about this cup is, 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 is great. The dimensions, how it keeps the coffee warm. You know what I mean? It's like a Gatorade. I ain't gonna go too far because I got friends that are who played the pause pause game a little too much. They sitting there like <laughs> waiting for me to say something questionable. Like, hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, yo, yo. You know what? Netflix is not gonna talk about the Air One Tour. <laughs> I said it in my interview. I don't know if they keep it in the documentary. Tomorrow we we shall see. Oh, it's Monday morning. Shout out to everybody who run their own shit. You know what I mean? Uh, every day is just another day to kick some ass and be great at it. And be great at it. We don't care if it's a Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We out the kick ass every time we open our eyes. You know what I mean? And actually, I fell asleep in the studio. So if you see a little bed right here. <laughs> oh, yo. yo, we the grinders, man. I don't give a fuck, man. I don't give a fuck. And if you don't know by now, I'm not the one to judge. We'll be here today. We'll be on the moon tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I like about 
the hustle because it 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 uh it kind of like molds you into knowing that nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. Even the L's, the wins, the only thing that lasts forever is the work. <laughs> only thing that lasts forever is the work. And I'm talking about that real work. I'm talking about that. Smack, are you ready? Beasley, are you ready? You gonna get this work. And you gonna love it. That kind of work, that work lasts forever. <laughs> Yo. Yo, big shout out to the big homie Stan Lathan for getting the uh, Living Legend Award. He told me one day, uh, I don't know why this popped in my, my, in my mind, right? Because I'm reading the comments and dudes is like, yo, I can't see the video, but the commentary was hilarious. And all, all I could hear is Stan Lathan while we had the Dave Chappelle show. Oh, yeah, we work, we work on that, too. Yeah, a little, a little, a little stunt. A little stunt, just in case they like, yo, what the fuck am I watching this stream for? You need to watch the stream. Tell somebody, cause I'm giving away the secrets. But anyway, Stan Lathan was like, "Hey, G Lock, you need to you need to get on that stage and uh and riff a little." I'm like, "What? Yo, yo, Stan, you not y'all not gassing me to get on this comedy stage where the people is waiting for Dave Chappelle and tell you my life story? The things that I'm telling you is real life shit." You telling me that this is hilarious? <laughs> like, yo, like, yo, my world is fucking, fucking falling apart. And I'm telling you real shit from my heart because you family. And he's like, yo, you need to go on stage and just riff a little. I'm telling you. You'll be, you'll be huge. Pause. And now, listen, this is Stan Lathan. This is the guy who discovered Bernie Mac, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart. Any black comedian that came across Stan Lathan in their career, just to create a deaf comedy jam, this man, um, this man directed Sesame Street. Could you imagine being on set yelling at Big Bird? Like, come on, man, that, that, that wasn't it. Do it again. But you don't know your ABCs or something, brother? <laughs> I can just, that's my Stan voice. Shout out to Stan. Shout out to Stan Lathan. Ladies and gentlemen, and Bounce TV giving him the Living Legend Award because he is a living legend. Oh, no. I spilled coffee. Brand new laptop. Nah, son. And it's the gaming laptop. You know what I'm saying? I've been a Mac head my whole life. Right? Who would have thought I would go up in Walmart, shout out to Walmart, and buy a laptop that's way more powerful than my Mac. And I'm talking about my Mac cost tens of thousands of dollars. I went up in Walmart, dropped a good twelve, thirteen hundred, and got the most powerful PC ever. Look at we doing the Twitch right now. I couldn't even do this on my Apple. I need to holler at somebody. Somebody come and holler at me, man. I got the Black Magic switcher. I got all these cameras. I got a a, a garage full of cameras and all kind of production shit. You know what I'm saying? We be winning Emmys, but I can't hook up a goddamn stream. <laughs> I can't hook up a blood clot, a blood clot stream, you. Can't hook up a goddamn stream. You know what I mean? But I got my sounds on point. Hold on, son. I got my sounds. Bruh. Got my sounds on point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we are in the building. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm a dude who learns fast. Oh, shout out to the um, equipment cabinet over there looking like a, a fireplace over there. Built that myself. Threw the little LED in there. It's like, I got to see how this look. Act. God damn it. I'm 
Sorry, party people. Sorry, party people. I'm trying to um, trying to do a show here. I'm trying to do a show here. As you know, life don't life don't stop me. Nobody nobody cares what you got going on. Oh, you streaming? I don't give a fuck. Anzi phony. Anzi phony. <sighs> Turn the goddamn sounds off. Ah, oh, that was an accident. Get the fuck out of here. That, 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 that's how you get blocked. Fuck out of here. That was no goddamn accident, man. You 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 hear what's going on. That was no goddamn accident. Fuck. See how motherfuckers just wanna be a distraction. Over here trying to figure this shit out. Change the world to make it better for you and I. You and I. Reminisce on the love we have. Hey, y'all ain't know that. <laughs> y'all ain't know you like I had that, uh, that, uh, uh what's that, uh, autotone and a, 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 and a pause. See, that's what my friends is on the stream waiting for, like. Hey, yo. <laughs> yo, I need to, yo. See, now I, I want to do these streams without editing, right? I would just want to do them just live and keep it live, right? But it would be so funny to have the little head pop up in the <laughs> on the side like, Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. Yo, Larry Love, where the hell you at? You somewhere writing R&B songs, man. You supposed to be over here producing some content, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. 51 Designs, where you at, man? Where you at, man? <laughs> well, you want to know where I'm at? <laughs> we outside. <laughs> 51 Designs, one. We Broad Clad building. Yo, I need <laughs> I need to holler at my boy. <laughs> my boy. Yo, I need to holler at my boy. Yo, I need to holler at my boy. Yo, I need to holler at my boy. And get him in all the dreads in uh in Jersey. These are my guys. Um uh to do some audio. The cover up in here, it they got the heavy Jamaican accents, right? They talk so fast and so aggressively. It's like, you know, they order in a pizza, but you don't know if they cursed you out and your mama. And you just like, while they're talking, and they're like, well, blah, 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 Yo, listen, some people ain't got the foresight. I see it. I can look at you and be like, you a star, you don't even know it. You don't even know it. You could be getting paid for all that bullshit you talking and you don't even know it. Yo, listen, it took a long time for me to do this. I always had this voice. I always had this personality. I always knew I was funny. And I don't give a fuck if you feel I'm, I'm funny. I know I'm funny. You know what I'm saying? I roll with comedians, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Shout out to Dre, uh, my boy Andre Kim. Shout out to Re- Reggie Cook. You know what I mean? Artie Fuqua. Yo, yo, shout out to, uh, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. I know some funny motherfuckers. And no sooner that good envelope get here. You know, one of these shits with one of those. Oh, no. I got a little message on there. I play around and show y'all niggas the show y'all the codes to the nuke. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that, 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 there you go right there. <laughs> those are funny dudes. But when that check come in, you're going to see a whole lot of improvement. You know what I mean? We built all this. It didn't look like this before. You know what I mean? 
built all this with my bare hands. Me and my man Swerve, you know what I mean? Swerve right upstairs. So every once in a while, you're going to hear um, a boom, to do to do a little thumping on the floor. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is Swerve doing? Is he, uh, is he wrestling chicks or some shit? I go to the boy TikTok. This dude busting them little moves and shit with the faces. I was like, yo, that's what the fuck. That's what you're doing in your studio. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna love you better. Think you better. Think you better. Nobody gonna love you better, boy. And I am. And I am. Yo, and we gotta put the movie posters on the wall. Look, at I'm really debating because, um, you know, they call me two coats. And, and you, you heard of two chains, right? They call me two coats. Two coats of paint, man. It should get. Got everything looking immaculate, right? And I don't want to fuck up the two coats of uh, the eggshell white. You know what I mean? Because it looks really, really good, and it it reflects the colors. Whichever color I have um, going off in here, it just it carries on the wall so perfectly. And then, of course, we got the legendary. We got the legendary wall. With the logo over here. Right? And the room is pretty. A pretty decent size. Right? Pause. Hey, yo. See? That's the way I need the yo button. Hey, yo. Um. <laughs> you want to know where I'm at? <laughs> we out. Yo, shout out to that kid. Where he's at. We we need him. His uh, voice. Oh, and shout out to Side Talk. Um, TV. I like those guys. And I'll be totally 100. I talk to my team all the time. I'm like, yo, yo, B, we was supposed to have been doing this. We were supposed to have been doing this. Because before the N1, I used to direct the slam from the street, street ball tapes. And um, that's what we used to do. We doing this early 90s. Taking it to the streets, taking it to the people, right? This is right uh, uh, around the time where the screen writing guild went on strike. This was the death of scripted shows. This was the, the death of soap operas. Soap operas was a rap. It was a rap after this. That's when the N one the N one tour took off. It was a writer's strike, and it was a strike on the NBA. Perfect timing for us to come in and entertain the masses and just take over. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh, hold up. Why is this, this writing? Could y'all see this writing on the screen? Ah, oh, see, I got to learn how to do all this. Did this just... Uh, See, I don't know what's I don't know what I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Oh, what is that loud? Oh, that's right now. <laughs> oh, we popping off right now. Live live. Oh, in the chat. Yo, my man the realist. Come on, man. Yo. See, I should have did. I should have did that. Um, I should have did that. Uh, oh, this JD. What's up, JD? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> you see me? I'm supposed to be getting ready for our meeting, and uh, I'm over here. Uh, <laughs> you call me? I'm over here bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Live shit, <laughs> yo. This live shit is not cool. Just <laughs> she's like, you good? <laughs> At least I was like, keep that, keep the people. <laughs> see, see, I got so distracted with technology and all this shit that um, because yesterday I'm going live. I'm thinking I'm doing a video breakdown. I'm dancing and shit. 
I look at the message, niggas was like, I ain't seen nothing. So what I was gonna do today, it was uh it's more ways to skin a blood clot cat. So I was gonna come on man. I don't do it like just play the goddamn <laughs> As you can see, I'm having all kind of goddamn technical difficulties. This shit was just playing like a motherfucker when I was uh in here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Shout out. Shout out to um the good fellas at C Music Live. You know what I mean? They donated a TV. The good people that uh sponsored by C Music Live. Cash. Hey. Run into that back. Bring it back, select out. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring it. Zico Nico! See now, I need to hook back up to the. Yo, you can't even see it. See, but this is the fire shit because <laughs> the sound effects is popping. Yo, it took me three to four days and I still don't have all the sounds that I want. <laughs> Yo, yesterday I posted that that <laughs> that old that OG gangbanger out of California or something. He was like, you think it's small. You got to think big, bitch. Think big, bitch. Yo, I posted that, yo. Every last one of y'all in my DM was like, yo, that need to be a sound effect. Yo, that needs to be a sound effect. That needs to be a sound effect. I was like, y'all gonna get me canceled. <laughs> Cause you know that's gonna be a sound effect. <laughs> you wanna know where I'm at? <laughs> we outside. <laughs> I don't know why that cry just make me laugh so goddamn much, but I love it. <laughs> we love it. Oh, but back to uh, the donated big ass screen TV, right? They didn't know that she came with a, that she came with a Netflix account. <laughs> Yo, somebody gonna be walking around America like, yo, why I can't log into my goddamn Netflix, yo? Because we over here watching motherfucking. <laughs> yo, make you a friend party, people. Don't be like that today. Get out there, be nice, be kind, make you a goddamn friend. Because look at I made me a friend that lasted a lifetime. You know what I mean? Told him I was building a studio. He was like, yo, I got, I got, I got something. I got something for you, man. I got something for you. I mean, you're going to need that. The big ass screen. I'm talking about that shit is Mondo. First of all, it's a couple of feet from me, right? This shit is huge, man. Pause. Pause. I ain't like that. I ain't like that shit. Oh, speaking of pause on the Air One Tour, when you said something, homo, these dudes picked up the phone and called everybody you know. Like, hey, hey, yo, they went right to their phone. Like, this was back when uh, Boost Mobile, shout out to Boost Mobile. It was like, grip, grip, yo, don't do guess what this dude just said. <laughs> yo, thank you. Fuck. That dude ain't even here. I'm talking about. We could be in San Francisco. They calling dudes in the Bronx. They calling dudes in L.A. They making sure. They calling dudes in Japan who playing overseas. 
Mind you, because street ball, they travel. They travel all over the world. But when you said something mo or said something plausible, they called everybody in the goddamn world to let them know that you did it. And then just say by and passing you at the airport and you saw somebody and they was like, yo, I heard what you said, man. Come on, man. You're like, you like, what the fuck? The pause game got so crazy, right, that uh, we got in trouble one time. Uh, <laughs> we got in trouble by ESPN. We got in trouble by corporate. And uh, they wrote an email to everybody talking about our language on national TV. Somebody says something, and Mike Ellis, the same me snitching, it wasn't a crime. But Mike Ellis was like, hey, yo, pause. This is on national TV. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we all got an email. Like, <laughs> and I just remember die laughing. I was die laughing because that's that that was old America, right? We was a lot tougher. You know, not now. We're just going to cancel this, cancel that. Man, fuck you and your cancel. You know, um. But I was like, God damn. Did we just get an email talking about not saying hey yo? We didn't even say pause. The dude just said, hey yo, and everybody just started die laughing. And somebody was offended by that. It had to be the legal. It had to be the legal. But uh anyway, yeah. Shout out to C Music Live, my boy K Briggs. TV already came with goddamn Netflix on it. A fresh Netflix account with real human beings. <laughs> and how I knew it was real because it was like a dude named and it was like two kids. I was like, um, I'm usually the the, the victim of uh, somebody using my account. So I was like, this is a little payback. Netflix, holla at your boy. Yo, Netflix, what's up with the free, you know what I mean? What's up with the free code, man? I remember when we was down with Boost Mobile, we had free phones for like 13 years. And then all of a sudden, when the tour was over, you was like, brip, brip. Brip, brip. God damn it, I gotta get me a fucking phone. <laughs> the jingles. What's that song? It's not over. That shit was over. <laughs> Corporate was like, yo, we got them ninjas up out of here. Yeah, good. Let me hit this motherfucking button real quick. <laughs> that's what the that's what the phones were saying, like. Cause the, <laughs> Maybe Shane the Dribble Machine Shout out to Shane the Dribble Machine He keeps a lot of Memories right He's good at shit like that He probably has his boost right Mine's is like at the bottom of uh, The Hudson somewhere You know what I mean Or uh, <laughs> Yeah that's my favorite too That shit It describes all kind of shit You could be happy nah, You could be sad nah. You can tell the people we, we getting up out of here. Because I know somewhere deep down in my heart, you I want to know I love you. We outside. <laughs> oh, that was an overload. You could blend them. They all blend together. And you could go down the list. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, yeah. And it's way more. It's way more to load up. It just takes so long. I got to go to that laptop. And it's it's uh, strenuous. Uh, it takes all day, right? And since I built the studio, it seems like nobody, yo, the bumba club. Bumba club. <laughs> yo, that, <laughs> that is so perfect right for, every, for all kind of reasons right um and to keep this shit entertaining because god damn it we having technical difficulties people can't see the goddamn videos and then i just get caught up and just 
yeah, fucking just talking, right? That we never really get to the video, right? But it's like, enjoy the gems. You can always go back and watch the video if you ain't already watched it again. Because it's a million and one views, man. That's everybody I goddamn know. And some strangers. And plus, right? And hopefully, more people will check it out. A shout out to Zigo Nico. Please don't lose the boogie, nigga. Right? Cause I know you came home. You came home with muscles and shit. Your arms looking like my fucking torso and shit. Don't lose the boogie, nigga. Cause that, I was there, nigga. When you did that, the, the, the chicks was like, Bah! That that get that that pays the bills. That keeps the lights on, man. When you can do that. And uh, and it it was entertaining. Even dudes was like, yeah, you know, you know, you, you know. <sighs> that club, I'll be a witness. It was a gangster party. This is what Biggie and um Snoop was talking about. This is at least like twelve hundred gangsters in there, right? You jump on stage, and everybody turned into little kids. Everybody smiling like they at Disneyland. You know what I mean? That's the shit. That's the shit that changed lives. Um, R.P. Pop Smoke. Um, I met him a couple of days before he went to Cali. And um, I saw that. He walked into Brooklyn Chop House on the wrong day. You know, I think he's Crip. And uh, it was like blood marathon in there or some shit. I don't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> but it was like, I know all of you guys and all of you guys are gangsters, right? And when he, and this is why I'm doing this podcast and I'm staying my ass inside because, you know, once upon a time I used to run around New York and I ain't seen gangs. Now everywhere I go, they're around me. <laughs> you know these friends and family though you know what I'm saying so it's like ah this is why I can't go outside like dude I'm gonna get caught up cause uh I can't escape it these are my family members these are my friends these are these are my peoples right but I gotta stay my ass in here cause I'm easily caught up you know what I'm saying like you know you're not gonna let nobody do nothing to your family right and be there you know what I mean and um yeah, but I saw that when Pop Smoke walked in, everybody turned into little kids. It was nothing but smiles and teeth, and I actually got the footage, man. But I don't want to play it because it, it breaks my fucking heart because um, that was right after we did the movie in Philly between wars, right? And this was when I was trying to do something uh, revolutionary, because I was tired of all the gatekeeping systems and shit like that. And really, I don't fall victim to the gatekeepers, but I watch friends and family fall victim to the gatekeepers. And I tell them, you only fall victim to that gatekeeping shit is when you're waiting to get in the door. We don't need that gatekeeper shit. Because we already... We already in the building, man. Yo, John Hawk opened up the side door years ago. <laughs> and we in this bitch. We don't need you to open the motherfucking door. If you came to open the door for us, we appreciate it, Jack. But we was already in the back plotting on how to get you out of this motherfucker and get the rest of our friends up in there. The old laminate trick. Ten of us go in there with laminates. One of us come out with nine. <laughs> with nine laminates in your pocket. We all in the building. We all in the building. Well, okay, people. That seems like it's about your time. All you had was until I finished this Bustelos. And, uh, yeah, and I wanted to come back on here, do this shit right, explain what the fuck happened last night? I'm thinking y'all seeing the goddamn videos and shit, man. Yo, academics, hit me up, man. Hit me up, man. I got to see how the hell you do this shit, man. Yo, Curtis, when you do see the stream, because I'm going to go on an email blast and blast this shit to everybody to let y'all know this is something that we do. If you watch them, you're going to watch this because we're going to hit you with gems and shit. 
And I'm trying to figure out how to do the shit and get it off the video game stream because uh unless they uh unless they cut some checks. You know what I'm saying? Twitch? Shout out to Amazon dot com. Uh, shout out to Amazon, you know what I'm saying? And um <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'ma get ready because this yeah, we gotta get back to the money. We gotta get back to the money, party people. And um and yeah, man. Oh, this ain't it's Sunday. Oh, this is on, on the Lord's Day. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Sun is out there shining. You know what I mean? We out here being goddamn hater proof. You know what I'm saying? Hater proof. Sucker free. You know what I mean? And all that good stuff. Gotta get some wireless mics going on. Oh, you see the arm we got? Hey, pause. We had to get the mother, the motherfucking Breakfast Club arm. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nigga, if I'ma do this shit, I need everything Charlemagne and them niggas got. You know what I'm saying? We get the we get the goddamn decal on the back, all of that shit. Shout out to Amazon and shout out the Road R O D E. We got the Road Podcast Pro over here. Hey, can't pick it up because the shit. If it if I pull the wrong cord, it might go. But um, this thing is amazing. This thing is amazing. The microphone sound great. I'll be doing freestyles, all kind of shit on this shit. I can plug up my phone and call people and be prank calling and shit like that. But uh, everybody know my voice. They be like, "Yo, G-Lock, nigga, get off my phone with that shit." <laughs> They know it's me. They know that's the wrong laughter. So, you know, <laughs> I called my brother. I called my brother. He heard the. He was like, oh boy, what the hell did I walk in? <laughs> he knew off the top. G Doc is up to some bullshit, yo. But, um,. The hell was that? That was a sound. See, all these goddamn computers is making sound and all kind of shit. See, this is why I need a co-pilot right here. I got a microphone for you and all that shit. I got the the Hey. Hey. Because of that, the metal in the springs. Oh man, yeah, oh my god. I see this I've been like this all my life, like a little fucking kid. <laughs> you know, I would turn this shit into a banjo, nigga. I play <laughs> a funky, a funky banjo. Well anyway, party people, we have fun with you. It's your boy G Lock for 50 50 50 for 50 for 50 for 50 for 50 50 50 50 50 one designs. We in the blood clot building all the goddamn time. And um, yo, let's be great. You woke up today, you could have been a lot of shit. You could have been on some bullshit. You could have been an asshole. You could have been a fucking dickhead. But we chose to be great today, party people. So let's be great. Let's let's keep it epic. Let's keep it legendary. You know what I'm saying? And keep it classy out here, man. Stop. You know what I'm saying? Stop doing shit that's beneath you. Stop playing yourself. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be great. We're going to be legend, legendary. We're going to keep a legacy going. To feed them little big head kids we got. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, peace and love, people. And you know I love y'all because y'all my real fucking friends. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we starting this from the ground up, people. Now, let me put a bag behind this. We're going to promote the shit out of this motherfucker. Get a million people up in here. You know what I mean? Because they need to hear this. And I need to write down a little format. But that's what my meetings is for. You know what I mean? Give it my friends who keep me honest. And we're going to keep it funky, party people. All right, y'all. Peace and love.